G'day and welcome back to our Lithuanian Cossacks campaign where we're deciding whether to go to war with Muscovy and decided, you know, if we're going to be at war with Circassia because they're allied, then we might as well get a border with them. So we're going to jump on Genoa first. We will go for Kaffa as the war goal. Papal State, we won't code blue dries. Let's just get this done. And we're going to put the single general that we have in charge of killing these guys in a diggy. State they wanted. And we'll just split these guys off. Actually just split them off, I guess. To manish. Jar. Didn't even know there was a fort there. Okay. Yeah. Good for us, means we don't have to wait as long for the uh, war squad to come up. And we better go over here and take a look at whether we've got Bohemia. We do. So if we sue for peace with them, we would love them to become our vassal. Let's unhold. We want Bohemia. God damn it. Apparently, you can't do it if. You are the junior partner. Can't vassalize the war leader. Well, that sucks, but Poland won't be able to take any land off him, so... Hmm. I was really looking forward to that, because he... He's an elector, and then you can use the interaction to give him your dynasty. Then you can potentially get a PU over him, and then inherit the um, electorship. A long way about becoming emperor, but yeah. Mighty Fortress of Prague is under attack. So yes, what was the war goal? Krodeko, which is also ours, until somebody goes and takes it back, and then Poland run in and take it quickly. All right, we've got Kuma. Oh, so we're all the way down here, Papal State. All right. We can definitely invest in the military. And we're going to integrate these guys in 96. It'll be fine with everything we're doing. Poland accepted peace. They renounced claim on a couple of places. Poland money, fine. We get 11 favours, good. We could now call Poland into this war. I think we'll need to. Alright, now what we want is at least one of these, preferably all of them. Only Muscovy notice when we do this. So, yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to take anywhere near that much without heading into the Papal State and Genoa itself. Right, these Schlachter need to lose this time to so gain production. Yeah, lost a little too much. Call a deer. And that'll let us grant the generalship. So we scored. Holy crap. Alright. Um, Poland. We have 40 favours, so yep, we'll call them to arms. Go for it. Access through there. Have access through Hungary. Have access through everywhere now. He's already got it. Good. The Papal State got the access. Poland on access, yes. Now, Sikasia allied with Muscovy, which means we want to. Maybe declare on them, call them in as the co belligerent. I don't know. Right, we've lost something that was giving us an extra relationship slot. Let's take a crack 
at losing this guy. Lose money or proficiency and tax. Just lose it straight out. Alright, put the king in charge of an army that's not doing anything. All these are looted out except for a dicky. Let's go there and do it fast. Oh, there goes Kaffa. So that's basically all we wanted from this war. Right, we're invested now, so let's put our two siege guy in charge. Try and send him over to Rome. Alright, just Venice. Well, let's see if we can actually get over towards Venice first. Standing girts. Big blob there. Prince unrest in Yerushkul is quite alright. Religious unity is shocking. We need to convert to Protestant as soon as we can. Bosnia is full annexed. Okay. We are down here. Papal State have asked for access again. So I'm going to sit on Ferrara. The other guys. Group up. Just get them doing stuff over there. Damn it. Well, he's a 463. Hopefully, yeah, strong claim. Cool. Finally going to get a good leader. So let's pull this guy out. Glorious Navy is under attack. before they got there. Hungary have honoured with the Papal State at war with France and Austria. Okay. Castile are now at war with France and Austria. Well, let's pull these guys into Teodoro. Philosopher's dead. Alright, you guys go home at war. Stay in... I need to stay in Crimea. 66%. If we send them up to the Baltic. Hmm. I don't know. I think we'll leave them in Crimea for now. should be on the way down here. Yeah, Papal State's going to be hurting soon. Now, we want to take a Rome because we would love to get the uh, triggered modifier for... Uh, we actually have to do that. Overlord of the Papal State would be fun as well, actually. By occupation of Rome, not this one, but the one you get as a Protestant. Can you convert when you're at war? I think that's the reason I sometimes miss it. Hmm. Holy crap. There's a big old army out there. France joining in. She says a war with both of us, even though it's not the same war. Austria, Hungary. Oh, there goes Ferrara, so we need to send them through, hopefully, all the way. Perfect. And you know what? Let's get... That's a hell of a long way to go. Split half of them off. In enemy territory, so we'll just have to do this and go back to Umbria. of that. These guys come out. 
Steel, Honored, Mount War with Florence. Everyone's jumping in. Alright, once that's done, we can put a leader in charge. Just in case, let's head over to Ancona. Now, can we even call this stuff? Probably not. I would definitely love to vassalize the Papal State. Can't. Oh. Florence is after a rezo, so that will drop 20%. What's the other war they're in? France and Austria is conquest of Avignon, so he would lose another 12%. Still too big. Still making a profit. It's looking good. Hmm. A little war. Alright, well, we're looking golden down there. And we've just finished doing the Livonians. Sweden finally declared independence with only Scotland helping. All right, well, let's take a look at this change. We have one more force limit available. I've got probably a much larger army than that. Yeah, nine over limit. Integrating the Livonians, which means now Still just barely pushing forward with that. Another 50 years. And this is definitely better in our favour. So, he's got a cannon. Let's pull off these guys, disband them. We will, I guess, disband them as well. Puts us two over. Two over, we should be able to afford. What army are we up against? None. Alright, let's march these guys down to Ancona. Why can we not? No access through Austria anymore. Okay. Well, we'll pull him somewhere. Oh, we can uh, fabricate on Riga. Finally. <clears throat> Peace off from Genoa, from the Pope. We need to do the Pope first. So, we're going to wait a bit on that. One Rome. Good. Oh yeah, Nunco Belligerent as well. well. In that case, we'll take War Eps. We can't take any land. So we'll annul his treaties with Castile. We're not going to spend our Diplo points. So we'll just take his money and get rid of him. Hmm. What was Genoa's deal? 112%. So they lost Corsica to Savoy. I lost, I think, Luca. No, what was there other one? Oh, Benga to Savoy. Alright, well, <clears throat> if we try to peace out. Mm. Alright, we're taking money and. <clears throat> pardon me. Take war reps. Lose Ducket. Give up claims so we get prestige. Causes no issues. Costs 500 points to core. Well, let's do that. And that these guys need to get ready for war against Muscovy. So let's bring them over this way. Being discovered in Riga. <coughs> And this must have been the Livonians. Okay. Let's get them out of there. 
puts us way over the naval force limit. Half a ducat. Let's get rid of the galleys when we can. Disband them. Only one over of each, so that's fine. And we we're going to attack Circassia. We want to grab a quick claim on them. Circassia have cores on us. Alright. <clears throat> step back a bit. five years we'll jump back to an admin focus. In the meantime, just grab prestige. Alright, so Muscovy. Allied with Sakasia. Sakasia allied with Georgia now. Who we already have a couple of claims on. So how about we come down here? <clears throat> we would declare on Muscovy. Get them to bring the others in. Yeah, we need to draw on Muscovy to get border friction CV anyway. And we would call in Sakasia. They've also got Ryzan. <clears throat> Can't call Poland into that. It's distant. That could be a problem. Can't call them in no matter what. And the clergy wants more land. Let's feed them. I don't know, something down here. Clergy. Clergy and a bit more clergy. Sounds good. Which also reminds us to increase autonomy. Trebizond, Crimea, Astrakhan, Theodoro, Circassia. How do we have Trebizondian separatists? Alright. Poland, call us in against Hungary. Who is allied with Pomerania. Well. Let's go see if we can't take a couple of pieces of Pomerania out of this. <coughs> These guys will go Crimea and stick to the other fleet later. There's an army down here. Why the hell is there an army down here? Can't get to Danzig. So, big man goes there. Other guy goes over to Stolt. Going parallel. Oh, this is just going to be a slaughter. Hopefully, we can get there in time. And the commandant's died. So let's grab this dude. Poland's based to Stolt. There's no claims up there, though. I assume he understands that these are of vital interest to us. If he wants any further help from us, he'd better damn well give it to us. Alright, this guy who came in late. <clears throat> it's up there. And we're waiting on 1502. There goes Stolt. They are getting really hurt by Brabant. Hmm. Alright, let's head in this way. Holy crap, 
He's got a 4-1 there. <laughs> was not expecting there to be any leader. Oh. <clears throat> He's got the obvious numerical advantage. The flanking. being taken by Trier. So we don't want to worry about that. Lose legitimacy. It's fine. Let's just go and um, ruin them a bit. Holy crap. This is a whole ducket just being two over. Alright, France cleared another war against England. 19, 4, and 1. Let's consolidate them. And then pull off this guy. Expand him. We can do. Diplomatic relations up. Sure. We are going to keep pushing military tech though, rather than ideas. Ja. Okay. He has Marion do. Looks like they've pieced out for something. Yeah, we need to just best guess this. Hey, Poland died. Tell me he has no heir. Cool. He's 49. Get the royal marriage. God damn it. Got an event. People laugh at our army. Let them laugh. Ooh, Stanton fell fast. So let's uh, jump over him. We can't. Okay. Where is there? Urbanization. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep, we can afford it, so we'll do it. These guys will go and slaughter them. Greifswald. Can't move on. that far. Can't get to Bosnia. He's already doing all the others, so yeah, we'll go back to the coast. There we go. Pomerania will cede Marienburg. Marienburgus. We wanted Danzig, but yeah, that's fine. We'll give them autonomy, and we will not be able to call it for a long time, obviously. But thank you very much, buddy. We'll send down this guy. And we have a supply there, so yeah, it'll do. Astrakhani's are definitely going to fire. So, so we need to come over here and they're going to fire before we get there. A lot of provincial unrest. Hmm. One point off. Right, the armies are coming. limit and we arrived in time so we got Manish Kuma Majar Manish Kuma Majar hmm. go 
where we're not taking attrition. Hungary sees Pest, Seps, Pozny, and Moravia to Poland. Yep, we got 16 favours, good. So we have 51 favours with them. That's a lot of wars. Okay, next. I suppose Poland want to join us over here yet. Needs to do border friction. Would call in Circassia. Circassia would call in Georgia. Yes. And wait for the Astrakhani revolt. And then side whether that's going to be a good idea or not. As for having two forts up here, that is probably not a good idea. Let's get rid of one. Ten forts. Vilnius. Well, actually, these ones. Alright, we don't need that. We don't need Vilnius. So we don't need Polotsk. Or Vilnius. Never we will. Sweden are losing their independence war again. Adolf Hat. Can't get the marriage this time. Alright. 20% chance each month, so that's just got to happen soon. Okay, well, I'm going to take a short break here. When we come back, we will think about going to war with Muscovy again. So, <laughs> thanks for watching, hope you're enjoying it, and hope to see you again soon. See you later.